Okay, so there's Griffith's A&M, problem 2.10. Um, so a charge sits at a charge Q, sits at the back corner of a cube. So this is for Q. All right, so charge is right here at the back corner. Okay, what is the flux of E through the shaded side, which is this side right here? Alright, so this is a sort of a Gauss's law type problem. It's very simple once you try to get the um, symmetry down. Super simple. Alright, so um, Gauss's law, this is equation uh, 2.13 in the book. Uh, it tells us that uh, D A is equal to the charge enclosed over permittivity free space. All right, and if we look up the, the way uh, Griffiths writes uh, the definition of electric flux, this is equation 2.11, where he uses this capital V. Okay, so that's defined as the integral over the surface of e dot dA. All right, so basically, um, if we integrate over the whole surface, we can say, I'm going to call this, I uh, can't write very small with this, but, um, total flux is equal to this um, integral over the, the whole surface enclosing this point and the total flux is equal to the charge in this case is little q or epsilon naught. So um, really the key to this problem is to just look at the, the symmetry of it because there's no preferred, anyway, it's um, sort of an isotropic problem, no preferred direction, meaning that because of the symmetry, the flux through this face would be the same as this face and the same as that face. And if we look at how many of these cubes we could fit around this point, well, we could draw one over here. You could just picture these cubes like this. So this is just the top half right now. It's sitting at the bottom center of these four boxes. So we have to account for the bottom of it too. Just drawing this very roughly. You can imagine four more boxes. Um, um, on the bottom. Basically, there's eight boxes, four on top, four on the bottom, that can uh, surround this um, point perfectly symmetric, symmetrically. So if we look at just this uh, top, the original box, there's just one eighth of, of the total flux going through this box. And um, three of the faces won't have any electric field lines going through them because they are parallel to the field radially outward from from this point. So really, maybe I can switch to a different color. Um, for this box here, um, there's only three faces that we have to worry about. There's this top one, this one over here, and then the original one that we're actually looking for. So one eighth of the total flux goes through um, through the shaded box, and one third of that one eighth of the flux, the total flux. goes through the 
blue shaded side. Blue side. Okay. All right. So um, this is the quantity that we're looking for. Um, so I will say. Um, what should we call this? Um, flux, the electric flux. And I'll just write side here. Okay, this is this is the droid we're looking for. This is um, the answer to our problem. All right, and we it's it's one third of one eighth of the total flux, which is so one twenty fourth of the total flux, and the total flux up here is just this cube over epsilon naught. So that is our final answer. One of the simplest problems in um, Griffith's book once you just look at the symmetry of it.